My name is Sam. I'm uh, 32 years old. I'm a recovering drug addict. I'm two years clean. I took my first line of coke at my Debs when I was 17. It, it took me to maybe like 24 to realise, okay, I have a bit of a problem. I didn't go to treatment till I was 30. Something had to give, something had to change. Um, I was too weak and I was too mentally broken to carry on. I knew. My name is Gary Kelly, I'm 37 years of age. Coke is my drug of choice. Um, started when I was about 17, but progressed through the years massively. Multiple attempts at suicide. Luckily enough, I was unsuccessful. This time last year, that's when I gave it up. I rang Limerick Drug and Alcohol Services, got me linked in with Bushy Parks. The original idea for the, the sport programme, which is supporting positive outcomes in recovery together, in its simplest form, was to lay the foundation for positive behaviour change, to introduce sport and physical activity to residents, to clients, and that they would then engage in more pro-social activities when they came out of their treatment. I've always had a belief in the use of exercise as a part of treatment, not as an add-on to treatment, very much integrated into treatment programmes. One of the values is, is that idea of self-care, that you know I'm looking after myself, I feel better about myself. I believe that people need outlets in their life, but we didn't have the expertise in that as um, addiction professionals. So we were lucky to have good relationships with Limerick Sports Partnership. I suppose the link between mental health and, and exercise is well documented and I suppose what Dave and the Limerick Sports Partnership bring is that level of professionalism. They do an assessment every week with new clients, they uh, analyse their abilities, their skills, what they're able to do, what they're not able to do in terms of injuries, that the funding given through Limerick Sports Partnership down to addiction services is playing such a vital, vital role in people's recovery. We always went in there, not, never with the opinion that we're trying to change what these places are doing, just we're trying to become an addition of what they're doing. Big element of that for them was that these participants that were in Friday afternoon was the time where all their friends and their family might be going out or getting ready to go for the weekend or finishing up for the week and that would always be dwelling with them and staying with them. So we were there as an alternative to that, as a healthy alternative to that. Day by day I did get a bit stronger and I could see bit of clarity thinking, look, there's, there's, there might be hope here, like, there might be light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you know, I really can't emphasise it enough. Just to be able to say, OK, I completed that circuit training, or OK, we'll go out for a run, and you see the kilometres clocking up, and it's another sense of achievement to say, I'm actually getting better. I'm not as unfit as I thought. Sports is massive in, in, in recovery, because it can't be all talking and in your head and like you need to vent, you need to let out, and sports give you that release. I've never felt or looked this well in 16 years. This program has, has changed my life completely. Like. They would say, you know, that, that's what keeps them going. That's what keeps their head in place, that gives them a, a sense of structure, and they would say it's as, as important as all the other therapeutic work that they do to maintain the recovery. We did box exercise, we did Muay Thai, we did dance to music and most recently then we've set up a gym, exercise bike, we have a rowing machine, ski erg, loose weights, we have boxing bag hanging up now as well, battle ropes, so there's quite a lovely option there for the participants even when I'm not there to be able for that little bit of escapism and to go up there and to release a bit of tension or a little bit of stress. Since the, the involvement of the Limerick Sports Partnership through Sport Ireland, there's an increase, a marked increase in the activity levels around the grounds. As part of that then they're eating better, they're sleeping better, so it's having a whole very positive knock-on value around the house. As part of the initial funding application, we looked at developing an app. The app is full of recovery capital, but it, it's also a mechanism for communication and connectivity with people exiting treatment. So we have a mechanism then where we can connect with people in a, in a private and confidential way, you know, monitor and track their mood and monitor and track their participation in physical activity. I tell you what, one of the ladies came back recently from the couch to 5k and she was giving out constantly before she went and she came back and she said for the first time in her life she had a clear head 
and she said she had never experienced it before, so that, that was pretty powerful. A good day for me now is waking up and having two drugs. Any day without drugs is a good day.